almost not just a colourful box of wheels, it's almost a way of life. These are not your practical everyday cars. You don't take them on a school run, you don't take them to work, you don't take them on vacation. They're not useful in any way except for to go fast and sound ridiculous. We don't buy them just because we want a new car. We buy them because we need them. We need that thrill, we need that adrenaline rush in our lives. It's like a sixth sense, if you will. It's like the sixth sense of speed, adrenaline and excitement. Over the next week, I will be interviewing three different types of car enthusiasts. The college student, the random guy on the street, the kind of middle-aged, if you will. And most importantly, the legend, that antique, the guy who's experienced it all, the vintage. So Paul, um, how do you think the car culture um, of both Woking and just in general, how do you think car culture has changed between uh, you as a child and now as kind of you uh, in your current age? How has that kind of changed? A lot, I suppose, because when I was young, there were far less cars on the road, first thing. Um, and although fewer people had cars, Overall, they were cheaper. They were more accessible for people to to buy. They weren't as complicated. A lot of people worked on cars themselves. Nowadays, cars have a lot more electronics on them. Uh, that makes it more difficult for uh, an average mechanic to work on them. They need to go to specialists. But I think the other thing is, I said, the number of cars on the road. Because there are so many cars on the roads these days, it's... Uh, a lot more difficult to find a free bit of road where you can actually enjoy driving mm. and I think the biggest difference is that now people tend to regard the car as merely a tool to get you from one place to another. Mm. This midlife crisis kind of trend that has kind of not boomed as such but when did older men, maybe 50, 40, start buying sporty cars and stuff. Has, has it always been a kind of trend or has it kind of exploded in the past 10 years or something? I think it's always been the case. Um, if you think about uh, the average person, um, they tend to get married at a young age, therefore they're, they're uh, concentrating on um, making ends meet, feeding the family, making sure they've got enough money for the children. Very often that involves a degree of sacrifice. There comes a point where the children are then a little bit older perhaps, um, and they can look after themselves a little bit more, and at that stage the inner selfishness comes in, uh, and you think, actually, I want to do something for myself. I want to buy something a little bit special for myself. Yeah. Um, and the term midlife crisis is really just a stage in one's life where perhaps one regains a bit of the um, um, the flexibility one had when, when, when one was young. But you have a little bit more money at that stage because yeah. inevitably when you're young, you don't have money a little bit older. Mm -hmm. If you've been prudent yeah. with money and saved it, then you might have a little bit of money spare. Um, so Henry, um, you've recently purchased a car, you've recently bought a uh -huh. car, yeah. um, how's the whole process been, has it been easy or like? Um, well, it's, it's easy, the only thing that for young drivers obviously which is difficult is insurance, mm -hmm. I guess it's crazy, yeah. because obviously young drivers yeah. statistically it's just have more accidents, so... I mean, think of the other end of the scale, you've got 90 year old Doris. Yeah, they have no clue what they're doing, and they Please. pay 100 quid for this, and I pay 2 grand. What do you think of the modding community? Do you, are you, do you think you're going to mod the, your car, or...? Uh, I, yeah, it's great, I think. I, I love modded cars, mm. I think it's really good. I, I don't want to do too much, because I think yeah. if you do too much, it can ruin the car, yeah. but just few little things like a remap exhaust induction kit mm. make, makes the car better, so uh, quicker. Are you, are you more inside or outside? Do you, do you like more aesthetic mods or do you like more engine based? More engine and performance. Mm. Mm. 
Now, unfortunately, um, James could not be with us um, for on the day of filming, or multiple days of filming. Uh, so, essentially, um, I'll just tell you a, bit of, a few facts about his car. He imported it from Japan. Uh, yeah, he imported it from Japan uh, about 10 years ago, 2009. Um, it's a manual, uh, which makes it very, very rare, or quite rare. Um, and he's done very, very few modifications. I mean, he's got a rear wing on the uh, back. Um, but yeah, on that very, very disappointing ending, it's time to end. Thank you so much for watching my documentary. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.